can better free. Sometimes you've got to speak those things which are not as though they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's looking better for me. Yeah, yeah. It's looking better for me. I dare you just sit there in this atmosphere just for a few moments. It's looking better for me. Oh, I mean, you know. It's looking better. your bank account and you're rehearsing the doctor's reports and all that happened today but the spirit of God says it's looking better But yourself is looking better for me. Hallelujah. It's looking better. It's looking better for me. I feel the anointing of God in here today. It's looking better for me. Now clap your hands and give God praise all over the can you praise him like you know he's better? Come on, praise him like you know he's better. Come on, come on, praise him like you know. Praise him like you know. He's already better. He's already better. I'm sick in my body, but guess what? I see that it's already better.
Wow. No longer are we escorting people and putting them on the front row when they have no power. Yeah. Yeah. All right. No yeah. more. Yeah. Ah, no more. You. We yeah. are identifying who people are yeah. according to the anointing that rests upon their lives simply because anointings are birthed through pressures. Yeah. 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 If you have not endured any pressure, you don't even qualify. But is there anybody in the house tonight under some pressure? I dare you jump to your feet. Because God said, you qualify. You get somebody and say, I qualify. I was crying all night long. I didn't know I qualified. I looked to money and some friends, but I qualified. You get somebody and say, don't get mad because I qualify. anything special. All I did was endure the pressure. That's why the first word I want to talk about tonight, the Holy Ghost said compensation. Just, just give me 12 minutes. The first prophetic utterance I want to share tonight is compensation. Somebody said, you're about to get paid. You're about to get paid. Mm. You have to understand why you're about to be compensated. You're about to be compensated because you had to endure seasons where you made God look good, although your situation was bad. Everything around you was a mess, but you kept the best praise. Everything around you was falling apart. Worship didn't fall apart. Everything around you was slipping through your hands. But at the end of the day, you made sure you had a praise. You get somebody and say, You've got mail. Our conversation is on for For the next 60 days, check your mailbox. Because I heard God say, There's something coming. There's something coming. I found somebody and say, Something is coming. All the workmen's got release. All these held up loans release. The reason why I'm gonna bless you is because you bless God. I'm not even gonna have to. Come on, man. You had a right to fold your arms. You had a right to be angry. You had a right to throw in the towel. Compensation. The kids was locked up, but you kept clapping your hands. You got made off from the job, but you kept paying taxes. That's tough. Jesus. That's why the devil can't stand you now. Hey. You cannot understand. Why is it that you keep blessing God? Although your situation is a mess. Hey. But one thing the enemy does not know. I see a miracle in the middle of my mess. You better say it again. You better say it again. Look for the miracle. Look for the miracle. I know it's a mess, but look for the miracle. Stop wasting all your time on the problem. But God said, look for the solution. There is an answer. It might be delayed, but it's not denied. I got somebody that's only looking for my miracle. Point one. Continue. Look at somebody and say, Continue. Continue. Uh, 
God. I continue until this day. You have to understand this. There cannot be a continuation unless there's an interruption. Wow. Have you ever been on the phone with somebody and the call drops? Normally, when you are reconnected, you don't start a new conversation. You finish talking about what you was talking about before the call drops. I just got by to tell you that God said there's been some interruptions in your life. But I'm giving you the help to pick up from the place where you were interrupted. So when, if, if, if you lost your job, don't lose your purpose. If you lost your marriage, don't lose your purpose. God said you're going to pick up from the place.
know what you mean by that. Okay, let me help you. So you out there in the parking lot smoking weed. Oh, God. Then something comes to you. So wait a minute. Just don't hear voices. I don't know. That's what they told me. Just don't hear voices. And it's on the way to me. Uh -huh. 
revelations, people of God with prophetic anointing, you gotta know what to do. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Don't cry, whether to throw in the towel, whether to overdose on pills, whether to go back to the bars, whether to walk out the church, whether to sleep with somebody else's husband, whether to sleep with somebody else's wife. Come on, somebody. God said, I need you to do what you know to do best. Begins to do 
something. Something supernatural. Because it says, and then midnight. And midnight, yes. Something about that midnight.
It's no longer a sound of struggle. It's now the sound of victory and celebration.
all the way out. I'm getting ready to take my seat by my sister, Elder Michelle. Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's my blood right there. Yeah. So y'all don't know this thing. Yeah. I don't have time. My time is up and I cannot be out of order. But I will say about three years ago, I went through a horrific turning events in my life. I had no bishops or apostles to call on. I was looking for the church. Somebody with a title. This woman of God, who was not elder then, was just Michelle, was saying, I hear the stuff that they're saying about you. But when my husband Corey was alive, when we connected, we connected as family, and I know your spirit. You need somebody that knows who you are. And her emails and text messages help me to stand right where I am right now. Come on, somebody. Somebody might want a prophetic word. I'm about to give y'all a prophecy right now. I prophesy that God gives y'all new friends. You need to change your circle. God's going to put people in my life that I didn't even expect. You get somebody to say, I promise I'm new friends in your life. I believe it was Drake that said no new friends, no new friends, no, no, no. I need some new friends. <laughs> new friends. <laughs> I thank God for Dr. Eric Holmes, my brother. Whenever he can, he supports. Not just by showing up at service, and this man of God prays around the clock. I get a text message at 3 something in the morning. I'm like, who in the world is this in the scriptures? Ain't no booty call. Come on, somebody. I saw your antenna. What the, the, the devil is alive. Thank you. Some people do pray at 3 o'clock. Can we thank God for this woman? Yeah. 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 Come on, let me just hold your hand and just speak these words to you. Despise not the days of small beginnings. All right, all right, all right. This night, with the company of apostles and prophets and overseers and bishops in this world, I decree and declare yes, yes. that whatever. Amen. Amen. Handing out programs. <laughs> I'm kidding. 